Hello everybody a very warm welcome to another session of e content learning in today's session i will speak about a very interesting and uh, wonderful topic called as body language which forms a part of the group discussion body language is very vital since it uh, manifests the state of mind in any given situation so body language generally is also known in other words as uh, gestures the movement of eyes the movement of uh, hands legs and uh, different parts of the body they all together compose body language a lot has been revealed through the movement of various parts of the human body and during a group discussion one can uh, have a clear look about uh, the other person's state of mind through his <coughs> movement of uh, various body parts so body language generally is a non verbal communication in which the physical uh, behaviors are used to express or convey the information you know such behavior actually includes uh, facial expressions then they include the posture of the body and uh, the gestures sometimes the eye movement the touch and the use of space and uh, uh things like that so body language uh, exists uh, you know both not only in uh, humans but also in animals uh. so this kind of a study the interpretation of uh, human body language is known as uh, kinesics kinesics is one area of study of uh, the human body language so body language is certainly an important part of the communication so most of it actually happens uh, without our conscious awareness because uh, body language must not be confused with sign language and uh, sign languages they are different sign languages are languages and have their own complex grammar systems as well as being able to exhibit the fundamental properties that exist in all languages body language on the other hand doesn't have a grammar system and it must be interpreted broadly instead of uh, having uh, an absolute meaning uh, corresponding with certain uh, movements so it is not language it is simply termed as a language due to popular culture and nothing else in a society Uh, there are agreed upon interpretations there is a certain consensus so there are some agreed upon interpretations of particular behavior interpretations actually may vary from country to country or from culture to culture on this note there is controversy on whether body language is universal body language actually it is a subset of uh, non verbal communication complements uh, verbal communication also in social interaction and in some researchers they conclude that non verbal communication accounts for the majority of information transmitted during interpersonal interactions it helps to establish uh, the relationship between uh, you know different people and regulates uh, their interaction but sometimes it can be ambiguous also so chances are that sometimes people may go wrong also so let's come to the physical expressions uh, such as uh, the facial expressions in facial expressions it is the expression of the face uh, the part of the body language and uh, the face actually is a clear uh, indicator and expression of emotion as you know face is the uh, you know mirror of mind an accurate interpretation uh, of it it relies um, mostly on interpreting mul- interpreting multiple signs 
in combination uh, like the movement of the eyes eyebrows lips nose and cheeks in order to perform the impression of a person's uh, state of mind it should always be additionally considered in regard to the context in which it is occurring and the person's uh, likely intention uh, there are certain signs uh, which show uh, when a person is extremely happy when a person is happy they are typically smiling and more likely to be uh, looking down their facial expression and uh, body language conveys a greater sense of energy in general and when a person is very sad he is more likely to have his eyes downcast and the facial body language will look very de-energized uh, especially when compared to someone who is very happy and how does a focused uh, a person's body language look like when a person is uh, focused their eyebrows are lowered and more centered their eyebrows are lowered and more centered a colloquial expression for this is uh, they call as having knitted uh, brows their uh, eyes also look more focused in general and they will look more determined in regard to whatever task they are doing usually positive moods are associated with uh, looking more focused and centered overall if a person is focused it means they have prioritized their visual appreciation so that it is primarily on a particular point of area this process actually occurs in conjunction with increased mental function and therefore it sometimes referred to as looking mentally focused in this way the facial body language it may additionally suggest of how a person is thinking an obvious example can be found in everyday conversation a person is looking at uh, the other person they are in conversation with who are in the primary focus of their visual attention and they demonstrate a certain increased mental function a person doing so uh, will look more focused both visually and mentally and understanding uh, to the other person so these are all basic uh, gestures basic uh, gestures about uh, the facial interpretation and uh, in the looks and the appearances and uh, certainly there are various appearances when it comes to the other parts of the body general postures of the body also are there like sitting or standing posture they also indicate one's emotion a person sitting back uh, till the back of their chair leans forward with their head nodding along with the discussion implies that they are open relaxed and generally ready to listen let me tell you again a person sitting uh, till the back of their chair uh, leaning forward with their head nodding along with the discussion implies that they are open relaxed and generally ready to listen on the other hand a person who has legs and arms crossed with uh, the foot kicking slightly implies that they are feeling impatient and emotionally detached from discussion so a person sitting with the legs and arms completely crossed with the foot uh, definitely is a part of uh, the signs which are showing impatience and in st- in a standing discussion a person stands with the arms uh, almost like the feet pointed towards the speaker this could suggest that they are attentive and uh, interested in the conversation so making a, a brief uh, a recap of uh, the various uh, facets of a body language uh, there is another concept called as gestures gestures are also movements which are made with the body parts and arm gestures 
can be interpreted in several ways. In the discussion, when one stands, sits, or even walks with folded arms, it's normally not a welcome gesture. It would mean that they have a closed mind and are more likely uh, willing to listen to the speaker's viewpoint. Another type of arm gesture includes an arm crossed over the other. It demonstrates certain kind of insecurity and lack of confidence. According to uh, the great authors such as Alan Pease and Barbara Pease, they have written a wonderful book called as the Definitive Book of Body Language. It's a wonderful book which one must read for uh, further information on gestures and body language. Thank you all for uh, uh, listening patiently to this session on body language. Thank you again.